All right. There we go. Let's listen to this, shall we? Marco Polo? Oh, God, not... They never found him. Choo choo, come on and do the kung fu. <laughs> what is this, the conga train of death? He's already bleeding out and we just started the bloody game. Oh great. Here we go. Oh no. I've just started, come on. <laughs> How have you done that in such good timing? Gravity mode on, obviously gravity mode on. He's just bloody fallen off the train. Um, how am I going to do this? Uh, go around the side. Oh, that's a different mechanic to the first one. I guess I've got to go the other way. I can't tell where I'm supposed to go, whether I'm supposed to jump in or not. There's only one way to find out. I'm going to have to test it. I may end up dying. <gasps> oi, 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 oi. It's definitely this way. It's your favourite. Is it, Oh, it's the most favourited. Well, we're getting there soon. I don't know whether you've checked YouTube recently, but the VODs for this, uh, for the first game, have been going up in chapters. They are being released consecutively every day. So if you wanted to watch the VODs for the first game broken down, they're on there. It's definitely a lot more polished than the first game, God. That was terrible, that was, the parkour in that. You can tell it was the first one. Oh my God. I'd love to know what this train's hung on by. Oh my god. He's a he is the He is obviously the um godlike figure in this because he's doing this while bleeding out as well so I'd love to know how he's doing that I can't see oh for god's sake where am I supposed to go now that would have been so funny I'm sorry I know he's a good guy and everything but it would have been bloody hilarious if that happened. I'm like, oh, I'm just towing in a belt. Have his bloody lungs all over the floor. Oh, great. I can't tell what direction I'm facing anymore. Oh, now I can. Right. Back onto the pipe. Fair enough. Oh, he could just use his um, use his liver as a rope. Uh, his lungs. As, um, he could just lob him up there. Oh, I was supposed to do something there. <laughs> I was too busy looking at chat. <laughs> Right, I can do this quicker now. Hi. That's fine. Thank you very much for lurking, Mr. Lurky Lurker. You'll be getting some more footage soon, sir. If this is the Polar Express gone wrong, 
Then where's the Polar Express that went right? Alright, let's go that way. I did, I fell down the canyon. I don't know what I fell off of. Because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that way. There we go. Whoa! I did it! Do I get a medal now? Right. Oh, God. Right. Go, 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 go. You wonder what's down there? Right, I would show you, but I don't think it's going to work that way. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Do I need to button mash? Do I need to button mash? Do I need to button mash? No, I don't. <laughs> Looks like the kids on the Polar Express so aren't going to see Santa this year. Something tells me that... They're not kids anymore, they're just kind of at the bottom of a hole. Oh, what? Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a job for us. Really? The client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. And I'm listening. You know what's funny? They're like, oh, like British lad. But none of us actually sound like that, surprisingly. Well, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone, it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. Go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we, that's why I hope you didn't you wet down. yourself. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? I don't like her. Where'd you get this? Nah. Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The You're not wrong. The Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere you can tell he's there, British, he just wants to run in there and steal everything. Waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. 
the light of the great Khan shall to the fate of the 13th. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. I feel like he's going to backstab Drake. The sight of the lost fleet. There's always two sides to a British person. We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> My head's kind of like that. But I haven't spiked it up. I've just currently got my flat. Right, let's see where we're going. I don't know what kind of trouble they've got themselves into for this to happen. This is bloody ridiculous. What were you doing today? Oh, I was just in a train crash. Jesus. <laughs> if it crashed Nate, there wouldn't be no more Nathan Drake. We, we, the series would end. What would we do then? Oh, great. They've given me a pistol. You know what that means? I won't even... Where do I go? Oh, the hair. Right, let's see. Hello? Anybody in? Hello? Consuela? Come to do cleaning. <laughs> Oh, I've got to use it to smash open lock with gun. Lock gun. Ooh. Ooga booga. Oh, look. That guy's just hanging about. He's alive. Oh, damn. Is a bitch. I think this guy might be dead. I think I may have slightly destroyed him, but you know. I just turned my head, I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> Yay. Oh my god! So violent! Oh my god, that was... Oh, don't tell me I'm going back down again. Uh, he's just having a quick nap. Look at him. Come in. Come in. Come in. Hello. Oh, so he's come to see him in the bedroom. <clears throat> so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself oh, easy. No. Oh, no. Through Forza. Let's not forget who walked out on whom after I don't all. know how you to um get to be jealous. Tap you um, if it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? I don't know how to un time you out. When I figured out he was I still haven't sorted out Nightbot yet. I thought you'd wanna be in. 
Sorry. Whoever so just came into the game, I'm very sorry. Just you just came in at the most awkward we point. Heist, find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flint. Mm -hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just disappear. Together this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. Really ain't gonna be fine. You gonna get up? Oh great, now he's crawling on the floor. Can I just yeet myself out the side? How is he still alive, honestly? Oh, that just got the crap out of me. That was one of those treasures they were looking for. Uh. 